good afternoon, Colin here with Tech Out, and today I'm going to be talking about my Steam Deck dual boot setup and what I did, how I set it up, and what I'm using. Um, so I originally had this 512 gigabyte SSD that I upgraded to. Um, I bought the 256 gigabyte Steam Deck. I got this for like $75 on Amazon. It was a 512 SSD. It worked perfectly fine um, if you're running, you know, Windows or SteamOS, one or the other. Um, and then X, uh, XPC, XTPC. Um, offered to send me their two terabyte drive that they just uh, came out with. Um, so thank you to XTPC for sending this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Um, and this allowed me to set up this dual boot setup and have plenty of storage on both ends. Um, so let's take a look at my Steam Deck and I'll show you guys how I have it set up. I am using Clover, so I'll show you guys that when I start it up here. I think it's already on, so I might have to uh, turn it off and reboot it. Let's see. Oh, nope, it's off. So I have Clover here, so you can see we get a nice menu. Um, so we can choose what OS we want to boot into. We'll boot into SteamOS. And it's just going to boot up normally after this, which is very cool. Um, so you don't have to hold down your volume down or anything like that to get to the boot menu. You can see, you know, what you're going into right there, just as it turns on. If you don't choose an option within like 15 seconds, it'll automatically boot into SteamOS, and you can configure the settings for the time and the default OS um, and settings and stuff like that here in SteamOS. Um, so I use SteamOS for most of my games. Anything that will run on SteamOS, I use. Um, that's where I play my games just because it sets up the controls and all the controls on the Steam Deck are native in SteamOS. Um, so it's a little bit easier there. And then anything that won't run in SteamOS or anything that I want to do on the Windows side of things, I just use Windows 4. I have a few games that just don't work on SteamOS or the controls are kind of wonky, stuff like that, or graphics, that kind of stuff that run fine on the Steam Deck hardware, but just not on SteamOS. Um, so I will run those on Windows. Um, so that's, that's basically what I have. And then... Um, I've just got my Steam profile on both of them. Works perfectly fine. Um, I can shut it down if I go here. Actually, we don't even have to shut it down. I just go to restart. And then once it restarts, it'll bring that boot menu back up. And we can boot over into Windows. So that menu will come back up. And it does have a different like background every time it starts up, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can change it, but it doesn't seem to save. Um, so we'll just go over, go to Windows, hit A, and it's got a little custom um, boot logo right there. Boots up pretty fast. Everything um, everything runs really well on this on this SSD. It's a very fast SSD. Um, this XTPC SSD, and there you go. Um, I need to download something for that, but there we go right into Windows, I can play Call of Duty, stuff like that that won't work on SteamOS. And it's very easy to switch between the two with Clover, boot into whatever you want, play your games, and you're good to go. So there we go, and once again, thanks to um, XTPC for sending out their two terabyte drive for this video and for uh, videos like this. So I can set this up and have plenty of storage on both sides. Check this out, link in the description. You can pick one up on Amazon. I think they're running about 239 right now at the time of this video. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.